Hey there, Ramon Osa with you here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get power on your ground strokes without swinging. Let's get started. All right, so if you stuck around, you're probably thinking shenanigans, Ramon. There's no way you can get power on a ground stroke without swinging. But hear me out, because in this tactic that I'm about to share with you, you can really use this to deal with any of those blasted balls that are right at you, or if you're playing against somebody who just likes to hit the ball as hard as they possibly can um, and doesn't know where the fourth ball is gonna go, this will be a really useful tactic. But let's talk about where does the power on your ground strokes actually come from in the first place? Well, there's a lot of answers to that question, but the first thing we gotta know is something called the stretch shortening cycle. That's basically just a fancy way of saying your body's like a rubber band. And as you pull the rubber band back, you create a stretch you create potential energy that you can release into the ball. So what I want you to do is imagine for a second that you, let's say you're hitting a forehand and you've got your racket out in front here. And what I want you to think about is almost like you're playing tug of war with the racket. Okay, so if the racket's out here and I'm just trying to pull away, just like if you're trying to you know, win a tug of war, you're gonna pull away from the racket. And what's happening is I pull my hips away from the racket is I can feel a stretch that's happening in my core here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna release that stretch right into the ball. So as you can see, I'm pulling away from the racket and then keeping my hands in front. I haven't taken the racket back at all, but I'm keeping my hands in front, pulling away, and now if I wanna hit the ball, all I have to do is come around and the racket is gonna lay into the hit. The racket head is actually gonna go lag behind probably heard that before it's gonna lag behind and it's gonna spring into the ball and it's gonna create a ton of power without actually swinging at the ball so like I said this is a very useful tactic if you're playing against somebody who hits the ball really hard and you don't you just don't have time to get into the stroke or if you're you know just warming your way into a match and you want to make sure you develop that contact point first this is a great way to kind of feel that it's just let your hands stay in front of your body rotate your hips away from the court creating that stretch and then rotate into the court and let the racket go right into the ball so here's a little example of that on the ball machine so there you have it there's really nothing to it if you want to create power without worrying about a big old backswing and have a foundation that you can create power on going forward, leave your hands in front, pretend like you're playing tug of war with the racket, pull away from the racket, and then let your hips come around and let the racket lay into the ball. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a great time making it for you. If it helped you, please click the like button, leave any comments you have down below, any questions, and uh, subscribe so you can get more videos like this. All right, and in the meantime, I've got a bunch of free trainings um, that you can have that'll really help your game down in the uh, comments section or the description section. Uh, you can have them for free. So check those out, and I'll see you in the next one.